Hello, here is a new video for an uh, orthodontic appliance, a rapid expander. So we go on the appliance tab, we import a model, the model should be based already. Then first we can create a molar band. So we click on the selection in the selection part by tooth, select a molar, we click on the teeth, then we go to curve bottom. Then we have to draw another curve for the occlusal part. So I have to say that I am not a dental technician, but it's just to show you how it works. So now we with the control touch, we select both curves at the same time. We create a molar band without gap or with a gap if necessary. Here, with the wheel of the mouse, we can increase the thickness of the molar band. Maybe 0 0.9, it's fine. We click on molar band here. We click in the area that we need the molar band. Now we can import the palatal expander. I'm not sure it's the best example, but here we can use the pin. Then it's possible to use the splint function to you'll see how, how it works. So we select the model to draw the curve on the model. We can do the same thing to join the molar band to the expander. With the C touch from the keyboard, we can close the curve. Double click, you can delete the points. 
then same thing you select the curve and you use the splint function so here you can see the distance between the the curve the two sides of the curve is smaller than the than the thickness itself so that's why it creates a problem so now we can go back select the curve and decrease the thickness or we can also use the wire bending function so here we click on the model we click on bar escape button to finish the bar creation we can increase the radius of the bar and add a gap so you have to know that the gap between the model and the bar is from those uh, square those green square so with the 0 0.4 0 0.5 it should not be in contact with the model between the those square the bar can be maybe in contact with the model but for that we can use the boolean operation so we select first the bar and then the model and we ask for the difference now you can see that the part that was entering in the model has been removed and now we can use the union function to join all those pieces together with the union button and now you have a very nice new orthodontic appliance See you soon with Deltaface Appliance software.